Although it's constantly referenced in the movies, anybody who's actually been to Hollywood soon realises there's not really much there. Beyond the Walk of Fame and Gorman's Chinese Theatre, the real Hollywood only exists as some kind of abstract historical marker. Come on up and see me sometime, big boy. The hyper-reality of Hollywood is the focus of The Day of the Locust, an expose on Tinseltown based on the 1939 novel by Nathaniel West. Himself a Hollywood screenwriter, he knew his book would never be adapted for the cinema while the restrictive motion picture production code was in place. They ruined it. He was right. This portrait of 1930s Hollywood wasn't made until 1973. The Day of the Locust assembles a disparate cast of desperados, each looking for success in vain. Todd's an artist who settles for a career in set design. Faye's an actor who can't break out of extras castings. Her father Harry's a former vaudevillian who's resigned to selling snake oil. Oh, Adores the child star set up for failure from an early age. And Homer Simpson, <coughs> retired accountant, has feelings for Faye that will never transcend their business arrangement. Oh my God. Over the years, surprisingly, Hollywood's been more than self-deprecating. From Sunset Boulevard, The Player and Mulholland Drive, to more oddball offerings like Beyond the Valley of the Dolls and Ed Wood, a multitude of films exist to serve as red flags for anybody who dares to court the boulevard of broken dreams. Yet none of these seem as harsh in highlighting the glamour and repulsion of Hollywood as The Day of the Locust, which compares the fame machine to a swarm of destructive insects. True, Hollywood itself is a small suburb of LA, yet the real Hollywood exists within the collective dreams and aspirations of its audience.